Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to do another unpackaging. Now before we get into that, I would like to get the cannonball on display somewhere. Now someone suggested in one of my videos to use a hairband. So I borrowed my daughter's hairband and I'm going to see if that works as a good display stand. Yes! So that stops it rolling around. Look at that. If we can get out of the back so you can't see it. Yes, we're in business. Right, now where's the cannonball going to go? I'll tell you where it can go for now. We've run out of whiskey, so we can put it over there. In that space there, I think. Look at that. We have a cannonball. Now, I don't know if it looks great there. It looks a bit random sitting there on its own, but that's where it will go for now. And then, um, yeah, let me know in the comment section if you've got any idea where it would look better. I could maybe put it on top of here, maybe. That might look quite cool. Let's try up there. Hey, <laughs> that looks good, doesn't it? Right, what can we put in that space? Because an empty bottle of whiskey does look a bit boring. Let's shuffle Mr. Miner over there. He can go there for a little bit, can't he? Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section if you've got any other suggestions where that could go. But I think for now that looks quite cool. So like I said, today's video is going to be an unboxing. It's going to be something that I'm not exactly sure what it is until I open it because like many of you know I've got a backlog of parcels to unpackage from when I went away on holiday. So it's actually quite cool because it's a surprise for me at the same time. I don't know exactly what it's going to be until I unpackage it. But let's get into it. Do you know what I've just noticed that's missing? The... 10 ounce bar that I'm going to give away when I hit 10,000 subscribers. Now I'm not sure where I put that unless I put it in this box over here. I just thought I haven't seen it for a while. Did it end up in there? No, it's not in there, but I'll tell you what is in there. One of the coronation coins, and that deserves to be on display. Let's see if it's got any milk spots yet. Now, for those of you that haven't seen the stat collector's video yet, he unpackaged one of these and it had a huge milk spot across it. But no, nothing on this one as... Oh, is that a milk spot there? No, maybe not. No, I think we're okay at the moment. Maybe I should leave that in the capsule for as long as possible. We'll see. I quite like the idea of taking it out because that was one for the YouTube stack, but we'll see. I don't like too much plastic in the YouTube stack. I like my YouTube stack to be silver that I can play around with so yeah we'll see but it's not in there so that actually know where it is I'm gonna have to check my storage locations because I put everything into storage when I went on holiday and I've just realized that's missing but I think we'll leave that up there for now that looks quite cool doesn't it up there and you can't see the hairband so if I can find the person who left a comment suggestion to do that I will put it in this video but I can't remember exactly what video it was on, but yeah, thanks very much. That works great. And I think that looks quite cool there, doesn't it, for now? Little shuffle around. So yeah, let's get straight into the purpose of the video. Let's do another unpackaging. Let's get straight into it. Now it's got a return address on there, so I'm guessing it's from eBay. But I've ordered a few items from eBay, so I don't know exactly what it is. Oh, this is nicely wrapped. Anything else? Nope. What have we got? Does this give it away? Yes, a quarter ounce Brit, 1988 proof. Now, there's a backstory on this. Let me just find the picture on my other phone. Just give me one second. There's an actual story behind this because I just stumbled across this on eBay and I wasn't actually looking for a quarter Britannia, but I just stumbled across it. Let me find the pictures on my phone. Just bear with me one second. Right, okay, so 
This is a quarter ounce proof Britannia, as it says on there. And this was from eBay. Now, the person selling this had lots of feedback. I think they had around about 5,000 positive feedback, I believe. And they were mainly specialising in precious metals. And for those of you that have watched my videos on buying from eBay, they're my main criteria. Have they got positive feedback? Have they got minimum 5,000 positive feedback? And do they specialise in selling precious metals? Now, those are the main things for me when buying on eBay. You want to find someone that's got a huge positive feedback reputation. So they're not going to be willing to risk it. So they're going to take extra care with the stuff that they're selling to make sure it's legit. And also you want to find someone that does specialise in selling precious metals because then you know they know what they're talking about. And you can already see just the way they've written it on there. For those of you that have brought online before, when you get things like this that are packaged really, really nicely with that written on there like that, you can just tell. You can tell that's an older gentleman. They take a bit more pride in their things. And yeah, I can already tell that that's going to look very, very nice. Now... So like I said, I stumbled across this on eBay. I wasn't looking for a quarter ounce Britannia. I wasn't looking for a proof coin. And it was actually sold to me as bullion. And I'll tell you the reason why. So I had a look. Let me just show you some price comparisons first. So I had a look on Atkinson's for quarter ounce Britannias after I'd found this on eBay. And this is how much they currently go for. So at point of recording this video... They currently go for £418, and that is the up-to-date ones of 2023. Now, as you can see, this is one of the older ones. This is 1988. Now, I believe the Britannia was not released till 1987, I think. So you can see this is one of the very earlier years. So because it's an earlier year, it's going to hold more of a premium because it's more collectible. Now, I looked on to Shard's website because Atkinson's didn't have any older ones on there at the time. So I went on to Shard's, which is, again, one of the places I like to compare prices on. And you can see that the oldest one they currently had on their site was a 2017. Again, this is bullion, not proof. And that was £448. So you can see, obviously, the older years contain a slight premium because they're more collectible, especially for people trying to do a date run and things like that. So bear that price in mind for a bullion piece is £448 and the year is 2017. So again, a lot older year. Now I paid for this, including postage. I paid, give me one second, let me just find the picture. I paid, where has it gone? I should have had this ready. There it is. I paid £450 for this piece, and that is including postage. So for that one I just showed you a minute ago, it was 448 So I only paid £2 more for a much more collectible piece, and it's proof. Now, the reason he sold it for a bullion price was because he didn't have the, the, the box that it went with. So he had the COA, and that's a point. Where is the COA? Where's that jiffy bag I threw down? Because he did say he had the COA. Ah, here we go. So here is the, the COA. Now this is for a two-coin set. So if you have a look in here, this is for 1988 two-coin set. Now, there was only 7,500 of these sets produced, and they contained a... Where are we in addition? Issued in addition, 500 attempts to be issued. Further 6,500 of the quarter ounce and 10 ounce coins are reserved for issue in the four proof. Two coin presets, they can, oh, there you go. So it contains a quarter ounce and a tenth ounce. And there were 7,500 of them produced. Now, I don't know what's happened to the box. And I don't know what's happened to the tenth ounce. So I don't know whether he brought it like that or whether he's sending it separate and he wants to keep the tenth. I'm not really sure of the backstory, but it was sold at bullion price, as you just saw, £450 including postage. And it 
looks like it's fairly proof condition. Let's see how it looks. So it's a bit of a strange one because, like I said, I paid bullion price for it because it hasn't got the box and it's not in the, the set that came with it. But I've got a COA, but the COA is for the Toon Coin set, but we've only got one. So you can see why I obviously got it for a cheaper price than normal proof coins. And again, look how nicely packaged that is. They've actually put a layer of protection in there to stop it rattling around. So again, you can see, look, it's actually a screw top. So you can tell it was obviously in a set a period of time. And while we've got that off, let me just show you. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Come on, focus you. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, for some reason, my camera's not locking focus today. There we go. So it is basically a proof coin. But obviously, he couldn't sell it as a proof coin because, like I said, it's not got the box and everything with it. Let me just remove that bit. Look at that. What a gorgeous piece of gold. 1988. So, like I said, one of the first released coins. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think... Britannias were first released in 1987. So this is like the second year it was released. So a really, really collectible piece for those people trying to backdate their collections and pick up previous years. Let me get it kind of secured in this capsule. Because I want to protect this. There we go. So look at that. Obviously, it looks a bit dusty, but you've just seen that's on the capsule. That's not on the actual coin. Absolutely gorgeous piece of gold. Now, like I said, I wasn't even looking for a quarter ounce proof Britannia. But it just popped up when I was searching for quarter ounce gold. Just having to look around, comparing prices. And yeah, I stumbled across this. So really, really strange piece. I basically picked it up for bullion price. But it is basically a proof coin, but I haven't got the box. And I'm missing the one tenth. So yeah, only 7,500 of these were released in the in the set. This was one 133, so quite a low minted set as well. But yeah, really interesting piece. Let me know what you think about that. Would you be willing to pay slightly more because of the proof finish? Or if you were buying this, would you really want to pay bullion price? Or would you kind of pay kind of in between? Because although... It can only be sold as bullion price, really, because it hasn't got everything with it, like the box or the rest of it. It is still a proof piece. So, yeah, really interesting that. But I'm really pleased with that. I'm quite pleased with that price. £450. And like I said, that was only £2 more than a 2017 equivalent that is in bullion. So, yeah, I think that's going to be it for, for gold for a little while now. Because I have been buying a fair bit of gold. You've seen me unbox gold quite a bit in the last few days of this on this channel. But I just wanted to kind of get to a round number i was saying to someone in the comments uh, a couple of days ago my allocation from gold was a uh, sitting around a weird number i wasn't quite a full number of ounces because i had lots of one gram bars and smaller pieces and stuff like that so i brought this and now that takes me up to a nice round number so yeah i'm quite pleased with my gold allocation now so that's why i picked up that um should we do one more unboxing the video is getting a bit long but should we do one more Let's do one more. Hopefully this will be silver, so it fits in better with the channel. All right, we're going for it. I should be staggering these out, really, to save my video content, but I'm getting carried away. Oh, Atkinson's. Oh, what's that? What have I brought from Atkinson's? It's that size. Any voice left in there. All right, this is interesting. Like I said, all these pieces I brought, either while I was on holiday or before I went away, I can't remember picking up a five ounce anything. That looks like a five ounce coin. What have we got? I actually can't remember what I've ordered. That's bad, isn't it? When I'm ordering stuff and I've lost track of what I've ordered. Oh, I, didn't, I forgot I'd ordered another one of them. I can't even remember ordering that. So I've actually got another five ounce version of this coin. Now, I actually can't remember ordering that. I'm not sure what my plan was. 
for this was I planned to take one out of the capsule I don't actually know well anyway we've got another five ounce one of these coins it's an absolutely gorgeous coin now look at the background in this it's very very similar to the background on where's it gone is it the free graces yeah there we go so you see the free graces have got that really cool background this has actually got the same back same kind of pattern slightly different but similar how it's like the more squared pattern but yeah really really nice piece and i can't actually remember why I picked this up, what the plan was. I don't know whether I picked this up so that I could take it out of the capsule and add it to the YouTube stack. But then, I don't know, I didn't take it out of the capsule because it's such a nice looking piece. Let me know what you think I should do. Should I release this from the capsule and truly add it to the YouTube stack so that I can chuck it around? Or do you think it's too nice to do that too? And I should actually add it to the YouTube stack because I have got one of these in the deep stack already. Or I, what I could do is for those of you that have watched my video and I've got another one of these, someone pointed out that the person, the angel's hand is actually pointing to like a little bit of the frosting missing. And I didn't actually notice it till after the, someone said it in the comments. And now I can't unsee it because they're literally pointing to the bit of frosting that's missing. So maybe I should get that one out of the deep stack. That one should come out of the capsule because it's already not perfect. And then this one should go in the deep stack. Let me know your thoughts. I'd be interested to hear what you think I should do. But I actually can't remember picking up this and that is bad. That's when you know you've got a, a serious silver addiction when you're buying things and you can't remember the, the reason behind it. But I'm not going to put it back in. Actually, no, I'm going to put it back in here for now until you let me know what I should do with it. I do quite like the idea that I just said, but this one in the deep stack, because I can't see anything wrong with that. I'd have to look at it off camera, but I can't see any imperfections. And then the other one that's got a little imperfection, maybe I could take that out of the capsule. Maybe I'll still keep it, keep it in the capsule, but just add it to the YouTube stack so we can see it more. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. We'll leave it like that today. So we've got a nice five ounce, big chunky coin, and we've got a proof. Are we calling this proof or are we calling it bullion? Proof like, maybe? quarter ounce gold so a nice mixture there let me know your thoughts as always thanks very much for watching i hope you like this longer video a lot of you have said you prefer the longer form videos as always appreciate all the support and i hope you have a very nice day